Uh, hey guys, this is Holden Rides Weird, and in this video I'm going to do the third campaign mission, Element of M4. Uh, we just need to capture two supply trucks in 40 turns intact. Although I do need to check something first. If it's... Yes. Okay, yeah, that is 10 turns. Alright. Now, the reason I checked that is because I think, I'm pretty sure there's a bug in submission I'll show you later. So, turn on scan at ranged. Keep lowering that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is load in all of these into just one of these personnel carriers. And get this sent, like, up here somewhere. Just have it. Usually, you want most of your units to be uh, over here in this little... Uh, spot or you could send them all over here it's up to you although I generally put them over here so I have extra pressure and then as for these three personnel carriers I feel like I want to use them for cannon fodder so I'm going to also send them up here although I might not have to and let's bring that up and let's load in these three right here. And bring that up. And then also put the AWAC out in front. So usually when you move your units up sort of like I have on screen right here, you just kind of have them bunched up in little squares and slowly approach the base that's in the northeast corner where a lot of these rocks are up north. It's on like the northeast part of the islands where their base is. Should be scouts up here. There's a scout. All right. So what I'm gonna do is try to disable. I mean, disabling a scout's almost always guaranteed anyway. So it sounds like a weird thing to say, but uh, disable the scouts that they send at you with your infiltrator, or even just one infiltrator, and try to get them. Uh, upgraded a little bit because your infiltrator will start out on rookie like they you know pretty much always normally do but the problem is if you're on rookie and the missile launchers like chance percentage of disabling it's about 60 and you fail you could lose about you could lose the infiltrator right off just because a calculation just, you know decided oh hey you're not getting it today Because I've had that happen so oh, so I'm sorry. I've had that happen so much in custom games, where you know it's everything's really high chance, and then oh, sorry, it didn't work. But, so to make your infiltrator stronger, I would recommend disabling scouts. I come up, and then you can destroy or steal them if you want. It's really up to you. Now we've got that mostly taken care of. So up north you'll see your first few obstacles, which is usually these two missile crawlers, these two turrets, and there's like an extra turret in the back here for missile launchers. But the bug uh, I wanted to show you is that yeah, these are 22 cost, but they said they're Ayer's hand. Ayer's hand, as I showed you uh, just real briefly earlier, was 10 turns. So that would only be 20 cost because engineers only use two per turn on one speed. So this should be 20, not 22. That's six, so that's the seven knights cost. But it's Ayer's hand. So, you know. Makes total sense, right? 
It's always fun to see little bugs like that in this game. So this is gonna die because uh, you know it's gonna get shot by pretty much this or that or whatever. And they or this gun will prevent me and there's a missile launcher turret right here that'll shoot me if I try to do that. Yeah, because you have this turret and then actually. No, it's not disabled, it's like not gonna risk it, obviously. Getting in position, I got destroyed, it was fine, so it's fine. Well, I'm pretty sure if you steal something, it also increases your rank. Actually, no way it doesn't, no, because that's then all the alien units I've stolen in custom games. I mean, I've had like plus four or infiltrators. Okay, so now that one work. Mobile Depot for infantry. It's always a nice tree. Yep. Alright, so... Hey. It does disable its shot for the turn. What I wanted to do. Probably I should have stolen that one too. So yeah, just, I think I've heard. I probably recommend it now disable and steal all three of the scouts. You'll lose the first one because it's in range. This one you can use to uh, waste this shot, and then the third one you can probably use for the same purpose. So that way, if I do this right. That should only be able to hit there, but these guys don't have any shots. So what I'm going to do is this. And they don't get shot back. So that's why you want to take those scouts, is so you can... Uh, oop, I can't load it right on top of the rock. I'm just gonna uh, kill all these units right here. This is why the Air Force is obviously. Um, actually, I know I'm going ahead and change the pumps and stuff. I'm saying something right there. Uh, Alright, let's move all these guys up. And then. no units I can see, so I can actually try to rush these guys up here. Oh, here comes one of their units. Alright, I'm going to move most of them up quite a bit, because I don't have to worry about movement. So that guy won't be a problem, although I wish like, he would get closer to disable, although these will shoot it down anyway, so. Let's just do that. Okay, so these ones got the seal. Let's move all these up. So that's what I see with turrets right now. Actually, hold on, let me select something a little easier. Let's 
So I'm going to move in to disable that. Alright, so that's definitely safer. Let's move one right here, because that will be in range. Which means I can move up. Oh, there's another gun, so let's mark that up. There should be another missile turret. There it is. Alright. So hopefully, I think another thing when you watch these walkthroughs is um, I'll try to call it out better where the uh, positions of the turrets are. So that way when you uh, go to the guide, you can remember the number or write it down a bit better. So I'll actually go over that now. The first missile launcher turret you'll destroy is at 6130. The first AA gun you'll encounter will be 6730. The second closest one to the left will be 6929. Another missile launcher will be at 7235, so just a few spaces southeast of the 69, uh, 6929 missile launcher, which is attached to the radar. And 7624, so one that's about 7, 8 tiles northeast of the one that's attached to the radar, so 6929. And then we'll get to the other ones as they go along. And I'll put it in the description too, so along with the radar positions. Which are the first one is 6829 and then 7433. Which is next to an AA gun, which is 7333. And 6730 also. Oh, that one already fired. Whoops. Alright, so a lot of unit, these are being destroyed, so I can slowly move all these units up. Not sure why I just did that, but I don't work. So you definitely want to use the lock button as much as possible here, because you'll be needing it. So let's move up here. Let's move one down there. And let's send the other one also down there. So I'm going to put the critters up in a uh, little pair in pairs and then disable turrets. You know, as I go. Because if I get rid of the one, the, uh, the 7235 missile launcher. Or zero seventy two zero thirty five for what it actually says, and I can move all these units up a lot better. Oh, these are still seven knights, sir. It's not your hand. These turns are going by really quick. Nice. Alright, enemy disabled. Oh, failed that one, which is... Oh, I lost two of them. To that. Which is always fun. Which means I gotta send another one down there. At least, to, even if it's if I can disable the AA turret, actually. I mean, I might lose an assault gun to it, but then actually, no, I'll have to send that one down there too. But that one is disabled. But 
here's another radar in the back. So this little set is 8230 for the radar, 8330 for the anti-aircraft, and then 8329 for the missile launcher. And the missile launcher has 12 range, and the AA had 8 range. And the radar is 18. So what I'm going to do is actually risk losing an assault gun here because um, if I want to get there, I'm kind of in a tight spot up here. So if I can be able to uh, make more room, because I'm only down to two infiltrators, so I can't get everything disabled that I want. And there's one, there's one in the back that I can't get rid of, and then I still need to get rid of most of these missile launchers up here anyway, so gotta be a bit steady. Because these two have already fired. But I still have the AA gun that really prevents me from getting in there deep. So... So I'm pretty sure there's probably more missile launchers over in this corner. Uh, yeah, sensor. Let's grab that other assault gun and keep moving. Nothing so far, I can't see back there. Oh, you're kidding. Oh my god. Alright, so I just lost three of them to one missile launcher. But this one on the back is disabled, so I might have to just go in there anyway. Although... Time for some cannon fodder. Move one over. Alright, so that means I've only got that one to worry about, so let's actually get all these units in. Just overwhelm them. Oh, that doesn't help. So let's actually move everyone out of the range then. Alright, that's fine. So I think at this point, I'm gonna be obviously a little more careful. And then I'll just move uh, down here to where they are and just take them out. And then resume normally. Because I cannot lose this infiltrator. It's actually, hold on save the game. Alright. Yeah, that's got got destroyed, that's fine.
Alright, so I got rid of those missile crawlers. I'm sure I keep saving every game. <laughs> every turn in case I lose it. Alright, good. So I don't actually want to lose a scout to this just yet. Although I could just rush this with scouts and take it out. Although I'll, I'll hold off on it for now. So I just need to get rid of that and that and then I'm pretty much free over here. Alright. Oh, I'm only in range of one of them. Okay. So, yeah. that's left. Ah! Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Alright, um... Yeah, just save and load there because... Mission that goes down... Uh, yeah. If it goes down entirely to RNG, that's not always a fun... That's not a good game. And then I'll just use this. Do that. So it's just this. That. I guess I could consider this like a practice run video along with a regular video because of that issue. I, I sort of hey guys, um, this is Holden cutting in here awkwardly. Um, what I'm trying to say here, right here is that the audio gets really staticky at times for some reason, and I'm not sure what's going on. So if you hear the audio start getting really crackly suddenly and bad, that's why. Just a forewarning. Uh, hey guys, it's Holden again, cutting in for the second time. That forewarning I did mention is uh, definitely happening. I meant to try to see if I could fix the audio, but I don't know what happened. I think something might have gotten corrupted, and I actually have no idea how to fix it. So from this point on, I'm just muting the audio because even the noises of the game get kind of clouded by my really, really strange voice that starts messing up really badly. I don't think anyone wants to listen to for about like seven minutes. So I'm just going to mute the audio and uh, give you guys commentary from here, at least try to talk for most of it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to disable the rest of the turrets and then go ahead and once I get that missile launcher and the AA gun and the, uh, like those two turrets down, I can just uh, go in and capture the supply trucks with my infiltrator. You only do need to capture two of the supply trucks intact before you finish the mission. So you, what you could do is you could capture two like a supply truck, get it to safety, capture another one, do the same thing, and if if they're both in an air transport and they're both of Merrick and Air Transport still alive, then that will end, that will end the mission. So I do have it turned down. You can get it done by turn like 16. 
it's a, it's a really short mission, but uh, right now so I'm just moving some units around, just trying to get some scan on these units to keep track of the trucks. Because right now the infiltrator and the air transporter can easily take care of those uh, units up there, so I don't have to worry about that. And yeah, so that'll be. I guess that's really how what happens for the next about five or seven minutes, just. Me moving units around, dropping them in, taking out that missile launcher. So that's it for their ground forces. They don't have anything left. I can just take out that AA gun and move right in. And then pull them back, get them in the air transport, and then move them somewhere else. And it's all okay. So once the AA turret goes, I can send an infiltrator in. Yep, there's that. All right, just move them over. And there's all their combat capability gone at this point. So once you do that, you're pretty much have free reign to do whatever you want. Just move your combat units away from their supply trucks and you can go right in there and steal their supply trucks. Since they since there isn't any combat units left, you could steal it without having to worry about disabling it, although I still obviously recommend disable first. So that's what the rest of this footage right here is, and then. I'll still have the audio muted after this, just to be safe, because with how the audio is, I don't want to risk it. And then I'll try to see what I can make sure I have a problem fixed before the second mission, because it's mostly audio is fine for this, but then, you know, once it hits like 23 minutes in, you start hearing it, and don't know exactly what causes it. Although I think right there, one of my assault guns did just take out the supply truck because I didn't move it. So I moved them all away to make sure I'm not going to kill more. Yep, just steal it outright. Put it in the air transport and then move the infiltrator up just a tiny bit and then take... Okay, I didn't actually need to load it in there now that I see it. Yeah, and there we go, there's two supply trucks. And once you get those two supply trucks, you can just end the turn. Now, I thought I had to bring it back to my mining station, but you just need two trucks intact at the end of turn 16. That's it. So you could even potentially somehow get away with not even destroying all the units. But I may need to re-record this. I mean, I'll upload this video anyway so you guys can see it. But if I need you, I'll just re-record that portion because I'm pretty sure I have that save earlier. And then I can just try to do it without having to worry about audio issues. Actually, I should just do that now then. But at this point, I'm just talking about how the mission went. The basic tips, even though there isn't too much of a strategy to this one, you just got to do a couple things. And then toward the end, I... um do a double check on uh, production calls for that missile launcher uh, oversight I saw, I saw earlier. But um, I guess that'll be it for now. I'm sorry about the audio. Um, so if you guys have any um, if, you, if you have any feedback, please let me know through comments or messages. I will try to fix this. I'm very sure that's going to be a big issue, but if you, got, yeah, if you have any feedback, just let me know, and well, it's been Holden Rise Weird, and I'll see you guys next time.